Okay, so almost 1.6 thousand subscribers. Not a lot for three years worth of work. TikTok, however, 28.4K followers in one year. With views always in the hundreds and thousands ranges. Some even hitting over a million views. So where am I going wrong with YouTube? Welcome back to another video and as you can see by the title, we need to make some serious changes around here. So my YouTube channel in three years has grew by 1.6K subscribers and TikTok, well, you've seen the numbers and that's in one year. So what am I doing wrong? And what are we going to do to fix this problem? Okay, so first things first, we need to look at my channel. Now, I started my YouTube channel during lockdown. In fact, I just started my channel at the very start of lockdown. So it was easier to gain followers and subscribers during lockdown. And uh, obviously I created my channel as a fitness channel. Now the thing is, when I started my channel, I was working in fitness. I was a personal trainer for 20 years. However, now, I don't work in fitness. I haven't worked in fitness for a few years, although I've still exercised, trained, and kept fit. My job is now, probably tell by uniform, working for the NHS and uh, still helping people, still people, get people healthy and fit, but in a different sort of way. So the question I've got is, my TikTok has grew massively. My YouTube has not grew massively. With my YouTube, it was a fitness channel. Whereas my TikTok started off as fun. It was actually my kids were like, Dad, you need to get TikTok. And I was like, oh, what is this TikTok rubbish? And to be honest, I actually downloaded the app, looked at it and deleted it. But then I uploaded it again and I made my first video and I got thousands of views. And I didn't know if that was normal or not, but my kids were amazed by this. Anyway, cut long story short, my TikTok channel grew. Not because I was posing fitness content or you know, information about how to get ripped or build muscle and things like that. No, my TikTok grew just because of lifestyle. That's it, lifestyle. What I mean by that is me and my missus, the Polish woman of my life, my wife-to-be, we uh, created this channel and it was just silly little things and people seemed to love stuff that was going on in our life. So we were just posting random stuff and people loved it. I mean, literally hundreds of thousands of views 1.2 million views is one of the highest videos. Now, I scratch my head thinking, why, how? But not just views, it's the comments, it's the likes, it's everything that goes with it. So I decided, time for a change. Because the YouTube channel isn't going so great because I don't work in fitness anymore, so I'm not posting fitness content, and I'm not posting, you know, nutrition content and all that fitness sort of stuff. I thought, right, why not try to make YouTube, very similar to TikTok. Right? We can still do fitness stuff, we can still do health related stuff, but change your channel the same as your TikTok. The channel on my TikTok is Harry and Natalia, the English Polish couple. We have a big Polish following, and I would love for my YouTube channel to have a big Polish following. So for my Polish followers out there, Jean Dobre. That means good morning. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. What have I got to lose? I'm going to move from YouTube fitness person to now being a YouTube vlogger posting all sorts of daily life videos. Now you may be thinking, who cares about your life? Who's interested? And that is a very good point. It's a very good point. But what I am going to start posting with Natalia is just real life content. What I mean by that? Well, for example, I'm 45. I've never been married. Me and Natalia are getting married this year in her city in Poland, Zlonogora. I've never been married before and I've never been married in a foreign country. So you know what? A lot of people seem very interested to know about weddings, especially a Polish wedding in another country. So we're going to vlog and post this. The other thing is um, me and Natalia are in the process of trying for a child. 
been trying for quite a few years now and it's uh it's, it's, it's a slow process nothing's happened just yet we are on we are having ongoing treatment at the fertility clinic and just to cut long story short we're going through the process of ivf however we're not doing ivf in the uk because it's way too expensive we're doing it in poland and a lot of people are interested in process of ivf in another country poland there's other things we do a lot of traveling a lot of people are interested in traveling um even when it comes to things like finances, you know, I am not the greatest person in the world when it comes to money, but Natalia is. She has been able to arrange our finances so we can have a more stable, comfortable and happier life, i.e. weddings, holidays, nice new apartments, nice new car, things like that, but also career. So I worked in fitness for 20 years as a personal trainer. Now I work as a um, healthcare assistant slash phlebotomist, which is a bit of a mouthful. Uh, for the NHS. If you wonder what that is, basically phlebotomist is somebody who takes blood samples and uh, yeah, pretty much just takes bloods. And a healthcare assistant is somebody who works alongside the nursing team and the doctors to assist, basically doing blood pressures, checking people's weight, health checks, blood sampling, all that sort of stuff. So I want to try to progress my career further and uh, who knows where the next steps will be. And I'm starting university uh, this month. Yeah, just part time doing more NHS stuff, which I'm f fascinated by. And it's all this sort of stuff that people are interested in. People are interested in other people's lives. Not because that person may be particularly interesting, but because it might reflect on their life. For example, how many couples out there are trying for a baby? How many couples out there are unsuccessful? How many couples are thinking about going down the route of IVF? I know that we are, and we had many questions and we were like, who do we turn to for answers? Who do we ask for questions? Well, of course, now when we go down that route of IVF, who can you ask? Hey, Natalia, you can ask us. If you think about changing your career and you think, oh, I can't do that. Well, ask us, watch our lifestyle. I went from fitness of 20 years, being a personal trainer, to doing something completely different. Now I work in an office, taking bloods from patients. How cool is that? Big change in career, but it's just to show you that you can do these things. Okay. Also, things like travel, family, money, just everything what comes to day-to-day -to -day life. This is what my TikTok channel is about. Real life. Obviously, it is a little bit funny because the language barrier between me and Natalia being Polish is a bit, you know, funny because certainly she hasn't got a clue what I'm talking about. And that makes good content. Um, and people like this. Well, I'm guessing people like this because, you know, I'm, I'm heading towards 30,000 followers, subscribers, what do you want to call it on TikTok and only 1.6, well, not even 1.6 on YouTube. So the point I'm trying to make is time to revamp, change, alter, and make a new channel. So if this is the sort of content that you're interested in, lifestyle, health, there will still be fitness in there because me and me tell you, we train every day still, we do cardio, we lift weights, we don't compete anymore. I know I competed about six months ago. But that's it. I'm 45 now. Now it's time to sort my career out, life out, and social media. I lost my Instagram account over a year ago for no reason at all, losing, what, 6,000 followers. I've never been able to regain that back just yet. So I want to now start a new channel. Okay, well, not a new channel. It's just like redecorating the old channel. You know, every so often you want to put a lick of paint on the wall and just make things look new again. That's exactly what I'm doing. So I've changed my YouTube banner. I've changed my YouTube name to the Polish, in, in, well, sorry, the English and Polish couple. So please comment below. Let me know if this is a good move, a bad move. I can't say it being a bad move because what have I got to lose? I'm not going to lose any more subscribers. I might gain some, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, follow our real life content. Follow our vlogs. Let us know what you think. That's it, really. So yeah. Natalia's not here, she's at work, but um, when she gets back, we are going to start making content, making vlogs, and just pushing out stuff there, which is all about real life. So if you want to see more of this, well, that used to be me, that was me six months ago, and that is Natalia now, she just always looks great, but me, no, I've gained a few pounds since then, but if you want to see more of this content, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share with your friends. And if you want more real life content, you know what to do. Log in the channel, stay tuned. And that's it.
Do widzenia. Pa, pa. Catch you guys later.